Shh, the broadcast is starting. <laughs> yep, all you. As Brett Mus Musburger would say, you are looking live at all right, Spare Time Lanes live. in Lightonsville. We have a, this is, ooh, I'm moving the camera already here. We have a Division C matchup between the visiting bowler, <laughs> Nate Wheeler, and the home bowler here would be Matt Tapiro. First ball of the match. Nice, nice stop right through the center from that. I'm Nate. Dave Peterson. Patrick McCauley's here. He's nice both. second ball by Nate. Seven bucks. We've got five strings here. Two points a string, four for total. Try to keep relaying the scores to you here as they come along. The pins are still falling. Second head pin hit for Nate. Gets a much better result here. Leaving the six pin with a little wood. Nice job. Picks it up nicely for the spare. Nate, the visiting bowler, his home, home lanes are the timber lanes. Still shy, a little disappointed. Just a three fill. Just a three fill. Nate bowls three leagues, two leagues in Holbrook. Those are Monday, excuse me, Sunday and Tuesday, and bowls Wednesday in, in Millis. Slides left of the head pin here. I'm looking to clean these four up. Disappoint, disappointing six blocks for Nate. Gives him 26 through three in the first string of five. Right there. Again on the head pin for Nate. Good. Use the four seven with some wood help. Nice job. And it picks up nicely a second spin. The ball, the ball picks up the seven. Five boxes at a time. This will be his fifth. Little left, leaves a four horsemen right. Solid, solid six fill. Just off to the right, but uh, not bad. Getting, picking up those three. And it slides left for a nine box. So Nate after five. 51 half. It's a good half for Nate. Now steps up is the hometown bowler Matt Tapiro. Matt's second place in Division Two with a 48 and 36 record. Solid 48 and 36. By the way, Nate Wheeler also has a 48 and 36 record. So talk about what should be a very close match. This is it today. Nice head pin hit. Leaves him disappointing. 410. Sorry, 810. And starts off with 8 bucks. Matt Bulls here on Friday, Friday nights. Yeah. 
a nice head pin hit. Use the 247. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Right How did pocket. that not go? Right in the pocket. It doesn't go, go for him. Matt is also the current king of the hill here at Spare Time. He's so had quite a year, two different runs for king of the hill, I think either five or six times. So he's the current champion. It's probably a good time to mention next Sunday he'll be defending his championship right here at 10 o'clock. So if you're in the area, come on down. Half Worcester right. Punching out the 3-9. Uh, See if he can work out of this. Nice hit. Oh. Doesn't nice get hit. Disappointing. Absolutely. shots you can make when you throw a ball like that. So super disappointing only to get six. Disappointing six box, but he only trails by two box to box. But he's opposite the spare here. Gets a nice count there, hitting the head pin rather lightly. It almost catches the break, almost steals it. And ten bucks. Matt 34 through, through four. We're gonna sit on a mark here going, going into the sixth box. Turn right now. Let's keep try there. Just a little light on the head pin. Try to clean this up. Just to the left. Well, still early. So after five completed, Nate Wheeler 51, Matt Tapiro 41. Nate starting box six on lane nine. Nice shot. Solid, solid hit, hit, hit. For the strike for Nate. Did I miss that? Did I put the score sheet in there? We missed a strike. <laughs> On the head pin again. For a double. Oh. Good hit. At least four, seven, six, ten. No help. Paul Brand calls it a banana split, whatever you call it, it's not good. Look out. Six on the strike. Nice job picking up those two on the end. Two for an eight box. Brings an eight to seventy five through seven. Nice. Off the head pin. It's a little help. Certainly makeable with a good first with the ball right in on the head pin. He's there, and it goes. I can see that one coming. Outstanding <laughs> shot. Another 
pocket hit for me. Sixville. He's a two four seven with a six off to the right. Just grabs the four seven there. We're gonna grab at least one here. Has a good game going here. He's bold in nines a wild. We're through nine and he's 99. Nice hit. Is it going to go? It's wiggling, but it's going to stay. Oh, oh my god! Famous <laughs> slow spare time strike. I don't know how the, how the laws of gravity work with that pin, but... <laughs> Strike for Nate. Light hit, light hit in the 1-3, in the but it works. It goes. So 109 plus two balls here. That's a good thing they don't have an automatic pin setter here. Wow. Again, look at this. Nine drop. Leaving the six with some wood off to the left. I'm sure he'll just try to hit the pin here. This is just for count, count, nine fill on that. That's a 118 if I can add correctly here. It's a heck of a first string for an eight. Man, five marks. Woo. Visiting Bola comes in. Wow, impressive. Rolls a nice 118 to start. Uh, Matt will need one heck of a half here to grab the two points, but obviously wants to get as many as he can. Can possibly get to keep the entire uh, match relatively cl well close. Huh. Boy, light hitting a one three. There's a lot of lumber up there. He's using the eight ten with some wood to spray around. Let's hope for the best. Just throw it in hope. Oh my goodness. Hits the wood and hits nothing else. Solid nine. So Matt is 50 through six. Nine, the seven off in the corner with a piece of wood. And a nine box. That's had some tough luck with splits right now so far. Long way to go, so hopefully that will this luck will change for those. Let's take a look. Six pin move right off its spot there. He's on the one six ten. Has a chance. Runs, runs it down. Very much needed spare from that. That was pretty. That hoping for a nice healthy, healthy uh, fill here. Cut into this lead. Standing that. Brings Matt to 76 through 8. Spare 9 with the ball. Damn. Oh my goodness. Clutch shot. That's uh, 
What do we have here after that flurry here? Uh, Matt would be at 106. So uh, he actually would need a strike here to have a chance to, to win the string. He needed a double. He actually got the first of the two. Needs a double. Needs a lot of action. Hang in there. Look out. If it got some backdoor, no. Nate had a 118, so the best Matt can do with the is 116. That's 114. Wow, that was a heck of a string. Got both you guys. Let's show the scoreboard. Matt with the big comeback and almost pulling off a miraculous comeback there as he was down, as you can tell, uh, by 17 through 6. And then 16 through 7, but a spear 7 with a strike and a spear. Just falls short by 4, but very competitive. Good heck of a string for Nate and for that. Good job. I can't be loyal to one guy. We are live in Whitensville, Spare Time Lanes, or Spare Time Recreation. This is the second string starting between an eight wheeler and Matt DePiro. Both bowlers have a 48 and 36 record, and the first string only a four pin difference. An outstanding bowling. Off to the left on that first ball. He had three spears and two strikes in that first string. Six blocks. Nate looking to get back in that head pin pocket right now. Off to the left again. Grabs the four, seven, eight. Second ball. That was a heck of a try. Only the 10 leaving. Leaving that stubborn 10 pin. And the 9 box. Sunday nights, Tuesday nights at Union Street, and Wednesday night in Millis. I bowled up with Nate on Wednesday night. He bowled a, one of his games was in the 130s, so he's certainly capable of a, of, a, of a huge game at any point in time. the head pin, but that's it. Another disappointing box. 29 through 4. Nate looking for a mat to sit down on. Beautiful head oh, pin. Oh, he did not want that one to fall. He did not want that one to go. Oh, exactly. We 
used the very makeable 8 9 with no wood, right? Oh, yeah, I made that. A, I'm sure you've all made that one a number of times. Right? Oh, because of the shot, though. That wasn't a bad try. Nine. So an eight thirty-eight through five. Matt Tapiro coming up. First box, second string. Matt, very successful bowler here at spare time. The DraftKings odds on Matt this morning were minus. He was minus one twenty-five for the match. <laughs> Nasty. Half whistle left. And it's just it's just an ugly sound. It's an it ugly is. sound. It doesn't matter which bowling set of bowling lanes. Uh, it sounds the same pretty much wherever you go. <laughs> off to the left. We both start off with six boxes. Sounds even worse when it's on a spear or a strike, Absolutely. particularly a spear, actually. Oh, it sounded a lot better, but it looks just as bad, to be honest. The five, seven, eight. No help. See Mike Kent is out there. Wishing Nate uh, good luck. Matt, 14 through two. Just down one pin, box to box in the second. He's right on. Matt's right just on. off. Just off the hook. He's got a much better lead. Let's see. Four horsemen left. Earlier, on this one. not this Beautiful. time. That's where the wood helped uh, just to keep everything in the clear there. Clutch spare in the third. It's the third spare in the, in the match for, for match, along with one strike. The white there. Use the three nine with the ten. Seven two. That's a tough shot. Just slides left. I'm going to grab at least two here. Now, oh, with that, you'll take one. Just tickles it down for an eight box. And then is four boxes done. Matt up 10, 39, 29, box to box in the second. Nice ball, leaving the diamond on the right hand side. Just a little light in the, in the one, two. Oh, nice bid. As the great Don Gillis said, the diamond wins again. <laughs> Ten bars. Nice job for the ten. So we'll put the camera in front. So just joining us. Nate won the first string. We have Nate Wheeler and Matt DePero, 118 to 114. Halfway through the second game. Matt with the 49-38 lead. Hey Nate, look at him. Diet Coke got that neck on there. Another head pin ball from Nate. The 
two. Two, five, eight with some wood help. Oh! And ten bucks. Nate was mentioning what his high single was. 152. High single and his high five, 587. Another hit. That's how you bowl 152s and 587s is balls like that. Use a 10 with a little wood help. Nicely done. You see there's a lot of Atlantic Kimmelman action on streaming this morning and this afternoon. So well, with the Patriots not playing until Monday night, I'm sure half the Central Mass is coming in. <laughs> Seven drop for Nate. Them up to 65 or 7. Oh, was the kid's gonna come back? I don't think so. Oh, it looked like it slipped out of his hand just a bit. Lose the head pin. Not any longer for a 10. Second half here of the second string for Nate. Hasn't left a pin on the deck with three tens and a spare seven. Oh, get some wood in the gutter. You mentioned uh, no Patriots today, but we're in Whitensville, Mass. Steve Spagnolo, the uh, defensive coordinator of the Kansas City Chiefs. A native of white stuff, so there's a little trivia for you. He's a former head coach as well. I'll try. Well, that's a perfect second half. <laughs> Outstanding third ball. Outstanding. We see Steve Carton out there. We'll say hello to another fellow ACST South Division. That's a 95 for Nate. In game two, Matt sits at 49 through 5. He's 47 in his 5. We'll take the two points. Nate took the two points in the first string with the 118 versus Matt's 114. Matt with a four horseman left. Nine and a ten in the back. And still oh. could go. any time to any of us, for sure. Matt, Matt can win this second game without, without getting a mark. He's been well. Two, four, six, ten, no wood. Mm -hmm. 
Slides left. Needs a few of these, Dave, to make sure he doesn't need a mark to win this. At 64, he, now he needs a, definitely needs a mark on one of the last three boxes. Well, we, saw, we saw how he finished the first, first string, but I have no doubt he can put one together. A little full, but he gets a good break. Okay. 4, 6, 10 with the 8 off to the left. And Matt's having a little trouble with the ball return. Plenty of time to think this one over. Well, that would take it. It does. Straight down, nicely positioned. Picks up that much needed mark. Got a sigh of relief here. Nice healthy fill will make them feel a whole lot more comfortable. Nice job. The seven fill. Triangle on the left. That would really won't help us, I don't think. Triangle left. Seven eight. Looks like he's on it. Oh, just slid by. Nine through through nine. This Matt only needs six to tie, right? Six to tie, seven to win. And there's the tie the wooden ball. One, two, nine, ten. Got some wood help. Finish, finishing the second string in style for sure. So actually, through uh, two strings now, both bowlers are tied. So Nate will have the lead, and Nate Matt will have the lead by whatever's on this ball here. Yeah, <laughs> fills it with ten. Outstanding. Again, Outstanding. A big finish. He is. One oh nine second game for Matt. We'll get the scoreboard up here for everyone to see the box by box. Wow. <laughs> As you can see in game two, Nate had a rough start. <laughs> get up there. Hit match. Took care of things and then added on to it in the 10th frame for 109. So total is a 10 point difference right now, 10 pin difference. So now we get ready for game three. Nate's first ball, third string. Four horsemen right, ten in the corner. Four horsemen left, sorry. Just grabs the four there. One, two, seven, and ten. On the head pin. But only for an eight box. Is that the third ball? Nate. Nate. That was. Oh, that was one. 
hit the orange pin, but you don't get anything for hitting the orange pin. Uh, this is a somewhat similar leave, you know, the hit pin. And the one eight nine ten. Hopefully things will fly around with a little wood in the back. Oh, it does. Solid ball. Perfecto. That's a pretty spare. Yeah, that is nice. Should we have replay? We could play that back. <laughs> yes. Slipped out of its hands. Needs a big third ball right here. Looking for a clutch out ball here, definitely. That it is. He'll take a seven after those first two balls. Disappointing, but it does happen sometimes. 25 after three for Nate in this third game. Not what he was hoping for. That was still left. Oh, it's not done yet. You can't give up on the pins here at right? <laughs> spare time. Right in the face. I'm sure he was hoping for that spare, but after that half whistle, I'm sure he's happy with the ten box. Absolutely. It's 35 through 4. String three. Crossing over. Wow, that's the same shot that Matt had. Three, nine, ten. ten. No wood. Picked up that one, eight, nine with the ten. Oh, it just went behind the nine pin. Outstanding try. Hit the wood and hope he gets it. So Nate sits with a 10, 45 through 5. So he's halfway done. Matt will start his third string up by 10 in the match. Each bowler taking one string to this point. Good pink Floyd. This is ACST action, Division C South. And first ball, off to the left. Try. Back in the pocket. Even two. And a ten box. Action. We might not be done yet. Back. First ball, second box off to the right, but gets a favorable leave. Leaves 
the one two. Tied 18th, box to box in the, in the third string. Off to the left. Max Woes in the, in the first half. And then he just turns it on in the second half. Yes. Wow. Good second ball. Gives a 9-10 with a little wood coming over to help out. Gives it a bid for nine bucks. It's 27, 27 through three. here in this uh, set of five boxes. A little light on the head pin. That's a seven. So through four. And that is a 34, Nate getting better at 35, and he got a 10 in the uh, fifth box. Shots like this make Candlepin and Bowling fun. Good ball in a 1 3 gets left with that nastiness. Oh, a little high on that one. Not sure I would have went anyway, but I'm going to have a close score here. That's going to be played five. We'll get the scoreboard up for everyone. 45 to 42. Uh, we'll try that again. The annual scorekeeping here. Not the first. So Nate's chopped three pins off of that 10 pin total lead as we're exactly halfway through this one. I think Matt can't wait to get over to Allen 9. <laughs> Here we go, box six. Looking for a little help, looking for a little help. He has a six with a seven, 10 with some wood. Kick off the six, get the ball to travel over, and clean him up. Boy, that's right. Just a bit to the left, I think. I think that's where he was hoping to throw the ball. Clean this up with a ten. That's an extra ten in a row. color to this score sheet right now. Wolf fall. Good head pin head. Wolf fall. There's a 3 6 10 with a 4 7. It's a nice try. Picks up the 3 on the right. box. Sixty-three through seven here for Nate. Let's get a marker two. Let's put a little pressure on that. Seems to be slipping out of his hand a little bit today. Going to the left a little bit. There's the ball this morning. 
That one didn't slip. Nope. <laughs> it just <laughs> slipped right into solid into the pocket. <laughs> Spare and eight. Nate's looking to get a little greedy on this fill here. It's right there. Wow. Nine drop. And the six. Let's see if this wood comes into play here. Big nine So maybe it's 91 through nine with one left. Not an easy one, but one that can be made. Two, four, seven, with a nine. Let's see if we can kick that orange skin over. All right, just miss right. Just miss right. I definitely need to pick up two or three of these here. Four snaps. Four snaps. Mark, exactly. That's outstanding. Nine? Set nine. Is that an even round 100? It is. It is. <laughs> so, nice spare. Nice fill. One zero zero eight. Yep. And of course, Matt's at 42, so only 58 in his five boxes. That was a big spare nine. These are Matt's lanes. Right here, lane and lane nine. Not the start he was looking for. In the six box. It's not the two nine. Three. Yeah. Okay, 49 through six. It's gonna need a couple of marks now to catch an eight. He's had his share of splits uh, this yes. afternoon, hasn't he? Good second ball. Gives it a shot. Three boxes left. And that's that needs some of that magic from Route 9. Lane 9. Get back in this game. It's not a bad lead, not really. a bad lead. Yes, yes off goes. the sidewall. The orange pin comes off and connects. You're at, um, that's at 69 in a ball through eight. Another mark. Are we going to have another big finish? Oh, big wow. fall. That wood. Leaves, leaves, a, leaves a shaking five pin with something. That's some wood, wood around twisted it. around into a nice spot. Oh, just off to the right. You know, it looks so easy, but they're not automatic. They're not. Gives 
from that 88 through 9. He needs a mark here. He's a spare three. Take his third string. On the head pin. Well, he's a 2 4 with a 6. Makeable, but extremely difficult. So game three goes to Nate Wheel. this in front of you. Nate takes game three 100 to 95. Take a look over here. Try to get the boxes. Well, there it is. As you can tell, Nate with that big spare nine, but it was matched by Matt's. This is 195. Grand total, though, we've got a five pin difference to three strings. So just as their standings are and their records, 48 and 36. Tied. We've got a close match here, so we're getting ready for string four. Nate has four points in hand now, Matt two, but we still have eight points up for grabs. Nate's first ball. Right now. One two pocket. Use the three nine. Get it to go. Off to the left. Three nine still there. Caps the wood, carries the 3 9, 10 bucks. Gave it a shot. Slides left of the head pin. 178. Nicely done. What a beautiful done. shot. What a beautiful shot. through two plus this ball. That's a big fill. It's going to take it. I, oh, it's wobbling six. I'm still watching. These lanes, you, you got to watch it extra few seconds. <laughs> a beautiful ball. Look at that. No doubt about it. Seven. Cut. Down it goes. For the, I think he'd go for the two on the right. I'm say if it was for a spare, I'd be tempted to go to the pin on the left. Uh, what if he's bowled four? This will be his fifth. Good game though. Let's see at uh, 50 to four. Solid half and eight. It's his best start so far. We're gonna put the pressure on that right off. Right on the hip pin. 
again. Look out again. Look out. Mm. Light hitting that one to two pocket. Dick Harry. That's a backdoor action. Leaves a three with a piece of wood behind it. Well, that would help if needed. Doesn't matter. <laughs> third. Third spare in the, fr uh, the string for an eight. Uh, Sits down with sits down with a sixty plus a ball. Sixty plus a ball. Bad off to the left. Those three pins aren't as easy to hit when they're the only three on the deck. Somehow they're they're a lot easier to get on the first ball. For anyone just joining us, we're at Spare Time Recreation in Whitensville, Mass. Matt DePero versus Nate Wheeler. We've got a good one going here. That's going to need to figure out his woes on Alley 10 here. Find that, oh. find that hit. Now he's getting the three on the right. The ball return holding things up. It certainly isn't helping him any. Leaves the four horsemen. Oh, just clips off the head pin. Matt 14 through 2. He knows he's got to pick things up quick here. Nate has 60 and a ball. So he had three marks in his five frames. Gonna come back. There's a break. There's a double break. Full on a head pin. Look who's gonna get it. Look, look, clip, clip the uh, spread eagle. Gets a little luck. Look at three, four, seven. Sometimes you don't help. know. But this time that was looking pretty good. If you, if you hit it right about where he hit it, or anywhere on on that wood. Very much needed spare for Matt there. Phil um, deserved a better fate than that for sure. Only a four, four fill. Very light in one two. That'll be a seven box. Gives him 35 through four, so he's down 15 in the incompleted boxes, and he's up against the spear here in the fifth. Off to the right, he's the four horse on the left. He's gonna need this one. Seven out of that. Hoping to salvage a ten box at least. And well, he gets it. Made it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly. All right. I'll go through the scoreboard here. Fourth string. We're gonna go right to the bottom. Is Nate with his sixty and a ball. Matt at forty-five. So Nate has picked up fifteen pins. Already he was down five, so for the match he's up ten. Plus this ball. As they go back to lane nine. Boy, Nate's been pounding the 
head pin lately. Phil Ball. Seven. Seven. Uh, spare. Light in the one three. It's an eight, eight bucks. bucks. Gives Nate seventy five through six. In the match so far, Nate has nine spares with two strikes. We're going to add to that total right now. Four horsemen right with the nine in the back. No wood. Nicely done for a 10. What a clutch third ball. He went for the head pin instead of the trying to get two. He got all three. It pays off when you hit it like that. That's an 85 through 7. Can't hit the, uh, the red line. It's gonna go low. And even at that, it's gonna he take it. it off the wall. Heck of a string going on here. That's, Nate, that's Nate's ten spare of the match. Ten spare of the match. And we're, and we're going to which box here now? Ninth box, right? So ninety-five through eight plus this ball. Try on the on the on the target pin. Eight. That's a sell for an eight box. That's one oh eight through nine for, for Nate. Nine pin drop. Leaves the five. Even that wood flattens out a little bit for him. Does a little bit. Wow. Mixing up his eleventh spare. Doesn't even need the wood. This is one heck of a game. One eighteen. One eighteen plus. marks for a 121. Man had 45. He just needs marks. Strikes, spares, any combination. Hopefully stringing them together. He's on the alley that's been favoring him the best today. It's the quarter pin pocket. It's a very generous nine drop. Even a head pin. Oh, and wow. tickles it down for a very, very much needed spin. I think tick tickling was the right verb there. <laughs> so. 
We got the spear. That's all that counts. Know what he was looking for. Thanks for watching, John Nichols. A shout out to Nate from, from John Nichols. because that is such an unbelievably tough shot without the 10 pin. <laughs> More often than not, that seems to happen. 72 now. At this Matt. point, Matt will just want to uh, finish strong and keep the total score within range. win the string, but he can make things a little closer total, especially if he adds another strike on top of this one. And that's at 92 and two balls. Very healthy fill. Just looking for a big count here. Five draw. By the headpin. Makes it For a six, six still on that strike. It's a 98 for Matt. Put the scoreboard up here in a second. Nate takes game four, 121 to 98. He was down five in total going into that string. Now up 18. 18? Yeah, yeah. Say, is it it? I just want to make sure our math is right here. 21, uh, 98. No, I think uh, 98 over here. I think that should be 416. Oh, sorry. Put it up there on the board. Getting ready for string, well, string five. Fifth, five, here's what happened in the fourth. Quickly, you can see Nate, the big 121 for 434 to 416. Let's see if Nate going that has a chance if it just just survived. Yep. So Nate with an 18 point lead in total. Solid third ball for a nine 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 bucks. You see Mike Kent out there watching, thank you.
be going well above his average here in the CSTs. Uh, average 108 and a half right now through the first four. And averaging a 104 here today, higher than his usually CST, which is 100. Just the seventh pin with that first pin. We're going to come back here. third ball here. And does. Wow. Nine box. Eighteen. Eighteen through two now for him. Object pin all three times now. Didn't get much for his uh, efforts with an eight box. It's 26 through three. In the pocket. Leaves a four seven. Twelfth spin of the mind of the match. Just misses. And nine. Thirty five through four. Three games to one so far. Zoned in on that hit pin, huh? Look at the wobble in the corner. I'm not giving up them out. I'm not giving up them out. They're all wobbling. <laughs> is there an earthquake? <laughs> so this is going. I see this going. This is going left. I'm thinking. Right? It's going. Fantastic ball. That, that was a great, great shot. Man. Great bit, mate. Great play. Thanks. 40 through, 44 through five. So, we've got six points on the line here because uh, obviously the two for this string, but certainly total is doable, being only an 18 point difference. It's a pin difference. Wow. Was it plenty of practice at that shot today? Put it that way. That was a clutch spin. Get going to the first Very box. clutch. He's had troubles on lane 10 all day. He start off the fifth with a much needed spare. He's got to soak him down quite a bit. It's a five film. Slides by the hit pin. Pocket hit right here. Got a boy. Well done. Gives Matt 24 through 2. 
up six box to box in the, in the fifth, fifth, uh, fifth game. Head pin hard. Even that ten pin. My most hated pin pickup for a spare leaf, Dave. Oh, right down the middle. And he slides by. Every pin is big now. Every pin is big. Thirty-three now. Three. Up seven, box to box. Matt slides right, drops three. ball here and again the ball returns impeding his progress one more to go for Matt 39 through four it's up four leads by four yeah box to box to box box to box against the nine That's a way to finish. So we've got a battle going on for the string, but also for the four points grand total because we are uh, pretty much in a dead heat, I would say, right now. Matt with a 49 half plus two. Down 18 in total. Can't get much closer. Nate coming up, first ball, sixth frame. Slightly left. It's the four horsemen right, seven in the corner. Off. He's just the one seven. On it. It's good on every single pin right now is uh, really critical. We all know strikes and strikes and spears are important, but when you're down to the last five, every single pin's going to count. Gives me 53 now through six. Hit and hit. Looking for some help. Not going to get it. 610. Seven and a corner. Got some more wood to work with. Hopefully he can make that wood behind the six. Gets over for him. Oh and my goodness. Kicks it over. It. That was too good. <laughs> Quality ball, but just just maybe a notch too thick. It was. The pin ended up in the gutter ahead of ahead of the, the seven pin. So many of these ACST matches come down to the last few boxes. Very very competitive. Gives me 63 through seven. In the one two a little right. There's a check mark right. Seven off in the corner. I'm gonna have to check this.
won't make the gutter on the left, but it'll make the gutter on the right. Pat, Pat will head down there. Pat is actually in the same division as, as Matt and leads the division. Score update for the uh, we're in the game five. And of course, going into this, Nate had an 18 pin lead. No, no, I haven't, except for the plastic one. That's a good thing. Gives him 70 through 8. Looking to add to that 13 mark count so far. He's going to need at least one anyway with a, with a good fill. This will be challenging. Very challenging. Four horsemen left. 610. He's been making his pin stance all morning. Oh, oh, can you believe that pin went right between the wall and right between the six and the ten? Another quality shot. So here comes Matt to begin his final five frames, and he's in position to not only take the string, but total. He's on a strike. Slides right just a bit. Four horsemen left with the nine. Got some nice wood in front of the nine to help him out. It's a big ball right here to get a count. Whoop. That's an eight on the strike. Eight fill on that strike, yes. And eight in the box. 65 through six. So Matt's in good shape with regards to the fifth string. Meaning only just uh, 25 and four. But total is, the, uh, is what we're watching right now. He's a 107. 107, 18, or 117. Well, let's check the math on that. He's down 18 coming into this. Yep, 107 would tie. 108 would give him the, the four points. Ugly leave. 
diamond, right? Seven and a quarter. Seven ties it, so he needs 26 to tie 27 in total. So we definitely need to mark. Go. Matt needs 26 to tie for total, 27 to win. 27 would give him a 108. <laughs> and of all times for the, for the pin setter to not be uh, to not be working, we have Mark Moon heading back there, the proprietor and bowler as well. Yeah, I know. I need a mark. Good total. I know that. I need a 106. Yeah, the total. 107 ties. 107 ties in total. 108 wins. Yep. So we definitely, of all times, for there to be an issue. Pins falling from heaven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know if Nate called timeout or not, or, uh, uh, but... Uh, there you go, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it down. Matt likes that leave right there, actually. Two boxes left. 26 to tie, 27 to win. So he's going to need a big spare. But right now, pins are falling into all the alleys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there we go. There you go. All right. Nate finished his five strings at 523. Uh -oh. All right. Well, We got through 98 boxes without a problem. <laughs> yes. We have 10 pins and we have plenty of wood. Mark Moon. Right. So Mark Moon will head down as we get ready for the last two boxes of this match. And when you come down to spare time, don't forget to visit the neighborhood kitchen next door. 
There's some good stuff over there. And next week is the King of the Hill, 10 o'clock. Matt's the reigning champion there. He is the reigning king. Let's see if this works here. Now we have no pins. All right, drama here, not only for the bowling, but actually just for the bowling pins. <laughs> well, let's see if we get 10 pins with no wood. <laughs> all right, let's count them. We got all 10. This is it. <laughs> this look out. They were probably icing him up. Yeah. He didn't need any help. That's the ball he was looking for, but you know, Dave, they're all in a bunch. Left. He needs a couple here just so that his, his potential spear wouldn't need as big a fill. That's a good point. And that's a big nine. All right. He's at 90. He spear here. He's got the spear he's seven. Got the game. He ties the game. it. Spear eight takes it. Or, or a strike for that matter. Oh my goodness! Could this be a highlight reel? Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Can you believe it? In the last box needing a mark! He converts the, the spread eagle with no wood help whatsoever. Now let's... <laughs> well, now what do we need? I lost track needed, of things. He needed the spare leave. He got an impossible one, picked it up. And eight now wins he needs it. an eight drop. Unbelievable! An eight oh, or a seven? Man. He does it. That's a nine. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable! Both bowlers drained, taking total. Can by you two, believe that? Two pins, hitting the spread eagle in the fifth, in the last box. Unbelievable finish. ACST C Division. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Wow. I can't remember the last time I've ever had a spread eagle. I don't know if I've ever had a spread eagle. Matt just says he's, he's not sure he's ever hit the spread eagle before. Unbelievable. Uh, what can you say about that? I mean, wow. both guys toe to toe, right to the last ball. Unbelievable. That is high right. That's someone else's uh, that, is, uh, besides me. that is highlight material sports center top 10. <laughs> oh, too bad good. somebody decent like Paul Grant oh, wasn't here to call. Oh my goodness. Oh. We haven't even added up the final score on the score sheet here. Oh. And then we'll show it to everyone here. But I have Thank a feeling you. we're going to be seeing this highlight wow. uh, on uh, Candlepool Chat. Unbelievable. Uh, Bob Lee actually converted the, uh, we, we saw it, uh, the, uh, the Spread Eagle on last Wednesday. The second time this, this year. That's how it usually goes. Some ridiculous pins fall forward like dominoes. That you is crazy, folks. Let's put the scoreboard, the score through here. So you can see the fifth string here that Matt needed a mark and a big fill, and he got exactly that to win by two pins. I've never broadcast an ACST match, Pat, but this was unbelievable. unbelievable. I don't know if I'd rather be bowling or he, broadcasting, but... <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't convert the, the five pin with, with, with wood surrounding it. He converted it to spread eagle with right. no wood help whatsoever. <laughs> unbelievable. He hit it perfectly. He was spinning around. You can only hope for some backdoor action, and that's exactly what happened. Well, that's why he's hard to beat here. That's why he's the yes. king of the hill. <laughs> yes. A multiple, multiple time he, king of the hill. He is the king of, of uh, spare time for sure. But not only that, but also 
coming back after the excitement of making it, but actually getting a nine pin drop, you know, was crazy. So yeah, and he had that two minute delay. Of, yep. With the, after with the that, alley not so, working. So he gets eight points. Nate gets six. Um, Great match. Yeah. So that will do it from here. Thanks everyone for watching.